Day one fall. All right. Lucky day, I guess. I've cooked everything possible up to this point. If you look at the collections, it'll tell you what you've actually cooked. And as you can see, there is only seven recipes that are blank. And for the potential cooking recipes, there is only seven blanks. So I actually have all of the recipes done. So, yay. Well, anyway. Um, stick this wood back in, this clay back in. Oh, most of the crops are untilled. Oh, grown. Well. Yeah, we gotta do some maintenance. Ah, get back. I cannot run it. I don't want to, it's just funny. Because I have both those magnet rings, so of course I can't outrun it. This is going to take some serious tilling. Good thing I have the upgraded hoe. And of course you want to get rid of the stragglers, otherwise they just keep spreading. I have enough beets for sugar for fall, but I don't have the wheat seeds. And wheat will grow in fall. So let's do that really quick. I always forget this area down here. Let's try not to. Oh look, a rock. Yay. Alright, let's, um, let's see. One, two, three. Right here. Let's see. I think I hoed too much. No, I can't because the building's in the way. Okay, great. Um, I have to wait for the seed thing to open anyway before I can buy some summer seeds. One, two. Uh, one, two. Yeah. So all of this is hoeable. Ah, I don't want to do that. I wanted to, to do it in the middle. They like that. This is why I outlined the entire field with areas that can't be hoed. And that's just simply because you can do this then and not have to worry about things popping off and shit. Like this won't pop off if it's on a platform, you know, things like that. What is potential in fall for the best value? For the millions and millions. You can't do star fruit jam. You can do cranberries though. I wonder if cranberry jam is a thing that we can... We could definitely grow enough of that. Um... I don't think it's all tilled. Yeah, it is. Cool. This is gonna take a while. I probably don't need to show all of this. Um, then again, you know, if I don't... How do you know I'm not cheating? That's always the conundrum, isn't it? Alright, let's go buy the seeds. Uh, one, two. I really should put something there. I have... That small L shape can be a project. I bought the seeds yesterday from Sandy for the sugar for the maples, so I don't have to worry about those so much. We'll get maple syrup for 100 trees. 116 trees is actually ideal for the greenhouse, but, okay, um, she goes to see her dad. He sells wheat. Um, I need, it only takes four days, so you get six harvests out of it, and I have two sprinklers ready for that, right? So that's 48, and so if you double 48, of course, that's, um, I mean, double 24, it's 48. And you're going to get six harvests out of that. So 48 times six. Okay. Uh, 288. So I need 288. I should have known that because I bought 288 sugar beet seeds. Anyway. I bought a little more because I misclicked. But anyway. 288. There. There. You can do sunflowers as well, but that's just a way to get cheap oil if you need to cook. Uh, I don't. So, I'm not too worried about that. Did I, I didn't ride my horse into town. Really? 
kind of locked. Uh, let's do the small project right away and get it over with. It's three to two, so it's two to three, if that makes any sense. These take four days, those take six days, so they need more space. Yeah, right here. I needed 288 and I bought just a tad too many. Okay, so they get these three, the week gets those two. Uh, no speed grow required. So let's just plant them the old fashioned way. Uh, one, two. Oh, I've tilled too much. See, one, two. This right here doesn't need to get tilled. I really should put a walkway there. In fact, let's do that now. Because if I don't do it, I'm just going to till it in the future. Okay, let's get that. Why do I have a scarecrow? Which scarecrow popped off? Oh, the one over here. Well, that makes sense. Because he wasn't protected. Yeah, see? So, yeah. He goes there. Alright. I was doing this. You don't need speed grow or anything. Um, but I do have a bunch of rare seeds. Okay, there you go. That's that. And then this is two. It's one, two, three, one, two. And then there's another patch down there. I don't... Yeah. I really need to hurry up because I need to go back to Pierre's. I don't think I'm gonna get... Okay, there you go. Um... So, that's gonna be a thing of... Uh... This is what I want to plant. This is what I've been working towards. This quality fertilizer, the seed bag, all of this. And I really could do just a bunch of fall seeds because I have a, a shit ton of them. Um, but that's not going to be profitable. Uh, you saw the entire month. It's not going to be as valuable. Um, I have 410 rare seeds. That's a little over, what, 17 sprinklers? Yeah, a little over 17 sprinklers. If I do 17 sprinklers, um, I have 59 sprinklers. But um, five are being taken. So if that's going to be 17 plus a little bit of miscellaneous, which I could actually put just sort of right here and not have to worry about it. So um, uh, here by the windmill, yeah, the little miscellaneous over to the side with some quality sprinklers, so I don't really have to worry about that. Uh, five are taken up by that, and 17 will be taken up by that. So 22 sprinklers from 59. I should be able to do this math. So I have 37 sprinklers. I could buy 888 cranberries. And make them all jelly. Yeah. That sounds good. Um... 888, huh? Well, that's quite a bit. I'm just gonna take my horsey into town. 888, I'm probably doing the math wrong on this, but um, hey, it's fine. I have extra seeds to throw in there if I need fall seeds. Making fall seeds is actually making the brown mushroom worth more by default. So. Okay, so 888 cranberries. I mean, that's the best crop to buy. And nothing else really comes close. I mean, fairy seeds? I mean, look, rare seeds give you the best profit. Mm, harvested once. Cranberries give you decent profits, too. All summer, all fall, I mean. Um, fairy rose seeds, I don't know. You sell for 290 they give you a 90 profit. It's not really that much. Um, Grapes are okay, but they're only, like, just over a third of what cranberries are. Um, and they require trellises. Okay, so let's just do cranberries. 888 cranberries. That's a lot. Good thing I don't have to water them after the first day. There you 
you go. Well, I bought the seeds, now let's get them in the ground. This is all this episode's gonna be planting, and then it's gonna be harvest and jelly time. And since I have all the crops set up, I don't have to record any more of this until the end. Okay? So that makes me happy. Okay, yeah, you need to you need to quality fertilize. I don't know about quality fertilizing cranberries, but and definitely not quality fertilizing any of this crap. Okay, so first things first, let's just do this. Watering this thing sucks too. Wish I had a cobalt hoe. I don't have enough. I have two rainbow shards, maybe three. I would need five. Plus 25 iridium. Or the cobalt. Of all the cobalt tools in the cobalt mod, I think the hoe is the most useful and maybe the watering can. The cobalt pickaxe really is not worth it because it doesn't. Apparently, the mod, it doesn't allow you to one hit anything except. It doesn't allow you to one hit gold. So what's the point of it? I don't see a point. You save one more hit with um, iridium nodes. Just one more hit. So instead of taking four, it takes three. If it, you know, gold hit once, then maybe. If the big stones hit once, I think it might make the big stones twice hit instead of three. But you don't you don't harvest those unless you're doing a big projects like I'm doing. And with big projects, you probably are rich enough just to buy all the stone. I know I kind of am, but I do prefer to harvest the stone normally um, because, you know, reasons. Cool. This is, this is what we do, baby. So let me know what your most legit playthrough of Stardew Valley is. You've seen mine. You've seen nearly everything year one. You've seen... Um, you're getting enough rare seeds to plant in this area, um, as legit as it can be. So I, I've always wanted to do a legit giant rare seed crop anyway. So it makes me a little bit happy to be able to do this, knowing that I only cheated a little for them. I cheated for the initial seeds, um, but then I stopped and didn't do anything with the rare seeds until December, until winter time. I'm a little worried that I won't actually have enough time to do this, so I might have to freeze time. That is cheating. That is absolutely cheating. And I don't like doing it. Haha! -ha. Save! I go from the top down. It really does until all. I actually tilled everything on the 28th. And thought that if I till everything on the 28th, then there won't be as much to till. Little did I know that it resets virtually all of it each season. So that's a little bit sad and depressing at the same time. Okay, we've got all of this. I'm going to at least plant these. Okay, they're with quality fertilizer. You absolutely want to do that. Um, let's do it. One, two, three. Let's plant these. quality fertilizer. And you legitimately can make them with the crab pots. Okay, people go, no, I want to make sashimi out of them, but this fertilizer makes it go much longer than sashimi, trust me. It really doesn't matter if I water the sweet gem berries or not. Look, they're gonna... Oops, I didn't want to do that. They're gonna take 24 days, right? And if I water them, it only cuts off one day. And... It doesn't matter, because I'm not going to get any more mileage out of them. Do you, do you follow my logic? You know? You probably don't. But I do. I don't want to plant down there. How many more do I have? Only 82? Okay, that sucks. Um... Only 41. There. Now that's not even enough for two sprinklers worth. I am very sad. Out of seeds. Okay, I didn't actually plan this through very well. Um, I was hoping I'd get them all in a clump, and now it's all a little bit scattered, but, um, 
It's close. Okay, it's close. Uh, let's get back to Hoenn. Because uh, we're going to have to. Mm -hmm. It's already 6 p.m. Not cool, man. Mega Crocs, people don't worry about Scarecrows or anything. They don't even worry about Sprinklers, but they have the Tractor mod. You'll never water all your Mega Crocs. And if you only use the Cobalt mod and get the Cobalt Sprinkler, it's still going to take you forever. The Tractor would still be faster. You can't really do Mega Crocs legitimately, because you can't water them all. So, you know, my way is like a semi-Mega Crop, and I have an oak farm over there, which is probably taking up really good quality real estate. Um, for something else entirely. That I could actually just be cropping up. Cropping up, yeah. Settling with the crops. Cropping up. It's a good term, I like it. Yeah, you cropping up? Like mushrooms crop up. These crops crop up, I don't know. That's off by one, I don't like it. One, two. Yeah, see, here is where it's supposed to be. Oh, no. We can't count. Because we're silly people. Hopefully the cranberries will net me really good monies. I'm not even going to get all these in the ground without cheating. Because I can't even hoe all of the land. Yeah. It's 8.40 at night. And this is legit time. It's passing 8 seconds per 10 minutes. And I have all that area down there I could easily sprinkler up around the pond. Not cool. Another hour has passed. It's getting closer, but I mean, I still have to water all of this. Should they get the seeds in the ground at least? I don't like cheating. Seriously, that's this is why I'm doing most of this slow. Because I don't like cheating, it's not rewarding. But I'm probably going to have to freeze time just to get them into the ground. But then you might say, well then Zen, this doesn't actually represent what we could physically do in a day. If you had actually bought the seeds, well you couldn't have because he only sells them in fall. You couldn't have bought the seeds in advance. And then you didn't have to do the little project with the sugar like I'm doing. So it's a second project which is wasting time as well. So the fact that I am wasting some of this time does in fact lend itself that maybe I could have done it. Okay, so the cranberries. All right, do they need fertilizer? No, because I'm going to jelly them all. They don't even need speed grow. All right. Um, I did all that. I need to do all of this. If I get them in the ground, it'll be fine. One, two, three. Now this, though. This seed bag mod, I guess you could make a, a, a good case that it's cheating too. Um, and you'd be right. What can I say? I just think it's the best mod out there for if you don't want to use the tractor. It's probably the next best thing. So you do have to earn it though. I mean, you have to buy it for 30000 So it's not like something you can just grab and you don't start with it. It's, an, it's a luxury item. And 30,000 is not that little bit when you first start. Alright, one, two, three. It's 11.30 now. How many more do I have to plant? 417? 
Not cool, man. It's getting late. Yes, it is. I'm gonna have to freeze time. I uh, know I don't. I know it's cheating. My mods will crash the game, actually, if I go out past two. I experienced that firsthand. Although, no, wait, there's a mod out there that says activate sprinklers. And that mod I would install. And then I would just go around and click all of these. So I don't actually consider it cheating because I would do it that way. Alright, that's all done. I have 288 more to go. We can start from this end. Uh, one, two, three. Probably miscounted. Yep, put one on all nighter. Because I would have gone around after hoeing and just activated the sprinklers. And then I would have been doing this. So forgive me for freezing time. I will freeze time because I don't have any other way to plant all of these. And you might say, well, it's not really legit. It's as close as I could get it. Okay, so I'm gonna freeze time. There, oops, I, I didn't wanna do that. There, I've stopped time. I hit the wrong button. I'll fix it, don't worry. Uh, 58 more seeds. Oh, right, because there were 48 dudes right here. Forty-eight lovely bushes can, in fact, be sowed right here. So that's forty-eight. So now I should only have ten left. Yeah. And it's probably right here. Am I out of seeds? I have two left. Did I miscount it? I'm pretty sure the bag got them all. And then that's what the bag does. It makes sure you don't lose them. I guess I just miscounted. Oh, no, no. It was because I had... Um, I didn't miscount. I just had uh, more sweet gem berries. And I was going to put those in a smaller area. Duh. So now I have two of those extra because I was going to plant the berries. That's, um, that's my fault. I said it at the beginning and I didn't follow through with it. So, yay. Ha! Oops, don't know why I started one up. That's stupid of me. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, it's only three. No, 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 not there. There. That's the problem with the cobalt tool, is you get your perspective off. Man, you gotta water these, because you gotta get the most yield out of them. Oops, wrong one. So, yeah, okay, the mod activate sprinkler I think I'll install. Because why wouldn't the sprinklers, like, why couldn't you just say turn on, right? Why does it have to be tilled first before the sprinklers work? And you can't till them on day one. Because you saw how little my crop was tilled, right? And on the 28th, I had everything tilled. So, it doesn't matter. It'll reset virtually your entire field. So that's kind of unfair, if you think about it that way. Like, you try to get a head start. I mean, farmers do get head starts in the real world. Um, but here, the game kind of won't let you. It kind of uh, retards your progress. And so, yeah. I'm a little sad, but hey, it's fine. Activate Sprinkler would have made this so much easier. Oh my god, energy. Oh, look at the energy! I am starting to get tired. How can I get more energy? Uh, how about all the cooked meals you haven't been eating? Yes, I could have brought those out with me. Yes. 
can't eat the jelly. But you can certainly get the cooked meals. And I have all of these, like this Tonka soup that Sandy keeps sending me from the desert. Bam. I'll grab these crab cakes, too, which um, I can't cook yet. I just keep getting them as gifts. That should be good enough. And while we're up here, why don't we just fill up the water? Yeah. This makes Wells pointless, this little lake here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to worry about these. Yeah, I do. I have to worry about these. All I don't have to worry about is watering the sweet jam berries, because losing a day on those doesn't matter. You can't even turn them into jam. So whether it's day 25 or day 26 doesn't matter, so you don't have to water them. The sprinklers will take care of it without having to worry. This is just my own little project to make maple bars. I've wanted to do it. I never could do it. Now I can, but I don't have the 500 trees that I need on the farm to actually make this a worthwhile adventure. And I've already done the math on it. It's actually not very profitable. Which is a bit sad. It's just something I want to do. A bunch of tappers. You know. And to show you guys that you actually can make maple bars profitable if you do what I do. At least you don't need as many trips to refill your watering can when it's upgraded to iridium quality. Ah, what a waste. I watered part of those. How many hours would this be? Would this be like past four o'clock? Probably. Even with upgraded tools, the game's not totally fa I just filled this up. There. Or did I just water it instead of filling it up? Yeah, I probably did that. Not for sure I just filled it up. But apparently not. Look how much water it takes when you do this though. Yeah, pretty big dent. But it is doing 18. That's more than 18. Have to water the cranberries, don't have to water the sweet gem berries. That means I'm going to get an uneven crop. So now it's going to bug me. I want to harvest them all at the same time, and these are actually really good EXP if you have a multiplayer, and you do this, and then you join you in fall. Like, yeah, join me in fall. You guys can get level 10 farming in one night. Just, um, I'm already level 10 farming, so just harvest all of my berries, all right? And they'll be like, okay, and then they get all of the levels. And everybody's a winner. You're a winner. You're a winner. Yeah. You're a winner. Everybody's a winner. Can you imagine buying big rigs for full retail? Like, there's no consumer protection on video games. So it's like not like you could uh, take it back and be like, hey, this is broken. They won't understand what you mean by broken. They'll be like, oh, just a game. You just can't play it. Holy crap, I'm out of water again. Oh, that sucks. So, Of course, you couldn't water this many naturally without the iridium can. You would have had to have done like 50 trips just to get all of the water. I was hoping it would hit that last piece. Oh well. I can't believe my energy's gone again. I didn't bring any more. Okay, is all of this at least watered? All at the bottom? I started at the bottom, so it should be. Yeah. And I watered all this, except for the berries, but I don't want the berries to grow uneven, so I'll probably just water them too. It doesn't matter in the long run, it's just a little peeve of mine. 
All right, let's go eat some more of the leftover food. Come back out here and do the rest of this. Uh, I didn't think it would exhaust you that much, but apparently it does. She gave me some fried mushies, so I'll just eat some of these. Cooking's pointless in this game. It really is. You say, oh, well, you can cook. Well, sashimi's fine for energy, so if you want to do the cooking route just to get sashimi for energy, fine, but I prefer to make fertilizer out of it. And I'm only doing this because of evenness. You don't have to. So... I'm telling you the better way is to ignore watering these if they're all around sprinklers anyway. Do I even want the other two cranberries? I'm thinking about no, but I might put them in the ground somewhere anyway. Because there is a place I could throw them. Does it cover up all of them? It does. Okay, good. Watering can's getting low again. Will I have to refill it again? Uh, probably. Yep, I got one more in it. And it's empty again. It is now empty. So this is the fourth watering? I think. unbalanced. Oh, why'd I do this? I mean, I saw it. I just... Uh, it's being silly. Alright, whatever. It's fine. It was uneven, but I don't care. Uh, in the long run, I don't care. And I really shouldn't be doing side projects if I'm going to do mega crops for money. So the trees are a waste of space. The whole wheat and sugar beets is a waste, and just everything's a waste. Should have just done tons of cranberries. Not looking forward to all the harvest seasons that's going to happen. All the harvest times that's going to happen, but, you know. Because it's just a lot of work. There's only three harvests with the star fruit. So. Everything's watered. I can go to sleep now. Yeah, this right here. I could have made this all cranberries. And this is what I'm talking about with these two over here. I can just um, put down a quality sprinkler and call it a day. I think I have one in here. I don't know. I have one over here. If I was going to do that, I might as well just fill them up, right? Like, the 76 quality sprinklers that I created because I couldn't make all the iridium ones. Like, it, uh, this scarecrow will cover this area. But if you were going to do this in the first place, why didn't you just buy another three of them, right? Yeah, I don't know. This is it's a little silly. It is only two, right? Yeah. There. I, I just I might as well plant them. Um, quality fertilizer done. Horse done. I can unpause the game now, I suppose. Here, go back in there. Mm, not too happy that I had to freeze time. But, you know. I didn't have to, but I wasted some of the day. So I might as well sleep. And I will unfreeze time just before I go to bed. Hi, kitty. You go to sleep. And that's the end of this episode. I'm not going to film again until the end, okay? The end of fall. Everything's ready to go. And I'll just sell it all and you can see my fall harvest, okay? So um, let's unfreeze time and then go to sleep.